and welcome to another Hot Toy Cast Coffee Table Video Review. My name is Eamon O'Donoghue and this is the 1-6 scale Disco Skeletor from Mondo. Now, this is of course based on a 2002 variant. I'll just move it around there because there's a mad shine on the screen there. Uh, but yeah, look at the lovely glittery box on this. It's 1-6 scale, all the credits are on there, all the gang are on there. It's very hard to, very hard to, to read actually with all the glitter on there. But it's mortally wounded by his brother killer. We, this is all the same info as all the, on the previous Skeletor figure. But again, it's all just disco up and glitterized up and stuff like that. This was one of many in the 2002 line. This particular Skeletor was one of many variants. But this was one of the variants that people tended to like because it was gold and it kind of maybe reminded people of the, the movie Skeletor. But over the years, it has earned the title of Disco Skeletor to the point we're even going to call him Disco Skeletor. So let's, without further ado, let's get going. But lovely packaging again. This is lovely packaging from Florian Bertimer again. It's lovely, but this was got all the glitter and stuff, as you can see. But all the gang are on there again. Uh, Emiliano, Santa Lucia, Tommy Hodges, Mark Bristow, Tom Hansen, Hector Arce, and Paul Barrero, lovely photographer, from, always from Paul. Paul on, on this as well. You've got to follow all those guys on Instagram as well. But yeah, let's let's just get this to get this going. So it's much the same figures before, but it's all disco eyes. But yeah, sorry about the shine. It's kind of shiny, but that just opens up more shininess, more discoiness. And as you can see there, he's got all the all his. Now, another thing as well. These are what they call. It's called a MOTUBI. Now, from what I understand, it's a particular painting style that's popular with vinyl figures. Now I will plead absolute ignorance to being to, to vinyl collectors. But I know that there's like a, a Mondo do them a lot as well. You know, they, there are these metallic vinyl things and there's a particular paint application. And I think that's obviously maybe the, the specific term for it. So people are happy to correct me if I am wrong, but there you go. All right, I'm gonna get this open. We're gonna cut this, I'm gonna get this open. Cut. So there we go, took a lot of the lovely glittery packaging. Oh, that's a good smell. Yes, we like that smell. So let's see what we got here now. We got some mad. Look, see, this is what I'm talking about. See, when I think of the MOTUB, because I remember in 2008 Comic Con, I went to 2008 Comic Con, I remember going over to a booth where there was these dudes selling what I felt at the time were quite hollow plastic things, but they were beautifully metallic airbrushed in this kind of gold and metallic style. And I was astonished at how expensive they are, but a guy explained to me it's because of the paint being used. So. I think this is a highly clickable thing. Again, people are happy to correct me if I'm wrong, but this is just from what I understand. There's a particular form of painting style. And this is, they've released a, three of these before. They released a, their first edition of Skeletor came like this. And, and and they did a Merman as well, I believe. Oh, and they did a Man at Arms as well. I, I didn't get any of them because they're always quite, they always sell out quite quickly and stuff, but I managed to nab this one. So I'm really happy with this one. But look at the lovely, see, that's what I'm talking about. It's that lovely... When I see that kind of gradient from kind of the, the, the metallic from one metallic to another, that's what, that's what I feel is what we're talking about here when in terms of why these are attractive. It's the metallics on them. And they're highly collectible as well, these, these things, I believe, as well. So there you go. So look at that. We've got, look, look, at a, look at metallic hands. See, there you go. It's just nuts. It's, anyway, let's open a figure. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh. Now we don't need to go into the design of this guy too much because I've gone over on my see my previous video. But look at this, see everything, look at look at the paint. I mean it's nuts. I mean it's quite bonkers, isn't it? But it's just everything feels a little thicker and heavier as well, because I guess the paint is really thick and heavy. And yeah, I, I reckon you have to be a bit careful with the joints as well, because you don't want to smudge anything. But yeah. Look at that. Look at see, look at it's kind of a really metallic kind of orange gold on here look at this orange look at this orange and gold is just really really kind of it's it, it, it's nuts but i'm glad i got one of these because i don't have any of the other ones you see i saw the merman one well, the merman one's really appealing to me but they just sell out so quickly they only made like a thousand of these so yeah absolutely stunning so there you go so let's just put him there this one, so this won't be a mad extensive view because again we've we've gone through this figure before in terms of its design and it's a lovely amazing design by Emiliano and it's lovely sculpting by the rest of the gang at Mando. There's a head there, so that's not um yeah, that's interesting. That's kind of I guess that is kind of given thing, but that, that's that's kind of interesting. Big kind of gold orangey sword. Look at that. Again, it's the gradients, you see. I think everything is a gradient thing, and I think you know, just particular art styles. So, okay, you know, by all means, fry me for uh, not exactly knowing this full thing. But look at that. Again, it's 
the lovely, just, it's the, it's the blue and the orange. And is the blue and the orange a thing? Is, is that, is that part of the styling of it? Because it, the other ones were very blue and orange and gold as well. That's fantastic. It's just, it's just weird. It's just a weird, cool variation of Skeletor. And like you said, like I said earlier, you know, it is just kind of it's slightly close to the gold, the gold Skeletor we saw in the movie. You know, God Skeletor at the end of the movie. So there you go. And uh, let's get all of his. That. So he comes with all that. And of course, he comes with a lo lovely stand. No cape. Is there a cape? No, there's no cape with this guy. So he's a no cape Skeletor. So pretty basic, really. Uh, I mean, I say basic. You know, you get you still get all the stand and everything with him and stuff. There we go. Should probably just open it from the other side. Be a bit tidier about it. But then, uh, there we go. Lovely wider stand. I love the wider stands now on the Mondo figures, and I wish we could just buy separate stands. Actually, nice separate separate Mondo stands. There we go. Okay. Let's just put him on this. All right, look at that. There we go. So that's that's pretty mental, isn't it? So I have to change out his hand. Again, it's got all the same articulations before, so it's got the multiple wrists. Oh, he's hard to take out. You got to wiggle. You got to wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, that's very hard. Oh my god, I actually can't pull that out. Hold on. Oh my goodness me, and it's hurting my fingers as well. Hold on. I think it's because of the metallic paint that's extra on it. Oh my goodness. Oh, he got there eventually. Because there's a one open for the, the staff, you see, so... Yeah, things are definitely a little tighter on these than previous. Ah, there we go. I'll tell you what, I built up a sweat there doing that. Either that or I just need to get back to the gym sooner. I've been to the gym for a few weeks. So I've been uh, very busy with stuff, with work and stuff. We all have been busy, what I've been busy on, right? Okay. I mean, that's lovely. It's just nuts. It's just, let's, let's get this pose a bit right. I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not one for kind of crazy variants of things per se but i i couldn't resist this one because a i love the design of this particular skeletor figure and b i just wanted to have one kind of matubi a matubi or whatever they're called i would like to have one of these just i just wanted one his joints are nice and stiff i will say his joints are nice and stiff actually so that's really good again i think it's the probably the ticker metallic paint but there you go That's it. That's what you want. Lovely sword. And again, he comes with his terror claws again. So I might probably pose him with his terror claws in the cabinet. Which, by the way, I'm going to post as well. You're going to see at the end my lovely Master Universe collection. I've got two lovely cabinets for it. So I'm proud as punch. I've been waiting for, you know, since the start of this Mondo thing. Master Universe to get my figures into a cabinet. They've been in storage since. At last, I have them. So wait till the end of the video, I'll post a lovely big picture. I might even do a little video of it as well, actually, at the end of this video, when I've added him into the collection. But look at that. I mean, I love that. I think that's great. I absolutely love that. You know, you, you, you need the other Skeletor, of course, but I think if you're a collector of just rarer things, this is a lovely thing to have. Again, they only made a thousand of them, but I just couldn't resist it. I just thought it was just nuts, the colors. I love the finish. You know, it looks, I mean, this is all, it looks like it's hand spray painted as well, which is really nice. But yeah, fantastic figure. But, you know, the design is as per the last one. So it's still a lovely design with lovely details. Lovely fur line cloth on there. Look, there's even a metallic on the, on the black legs as well. It's just a cool Skeletor. The gold tends to kind of really draw out some of the details. So maybe a little bit of black wash here. But I think the idea is there's no wash. It's all spray. It's all just there so it's a different painting technique um but it goes up along here that's absolutely brilliant so there you go disco skeletor or disco inferno skeletor is the song we see at the background there you go uh, this is pretty sold out now but i mean go try and get him on the second market but again he was highly limited to only a thousand pieces and he kind of sold out on the day he was released so 
you know, you probably might be able to get him, I don't believe probably pay, pay top dollar for it, but if you are one of me and manage to get him, I think you're going to be really, really, really happy with it because it is just a cool variant. As I said, if I had the chance to get the other ones, I would because I would like just a separate shelf with just these Matubis because they're, they're unusual and they're, they're very cool and it's like, you know, it's art for the sake of it. <laughs> and I kind of like that in an action figure sometimes. I just like doing something just for the sake of art and creativity. And that's what this is. And so Mondowick sell it as well. They, they have this lovely high-end art sensibility to everything that they do. But they bring that sense of fun and culture to things as well, which I absolutely love. And that's why I love Mondo. They're absolutely guy, the guys over there rock at Mondo. So there you go. Mass, Masters of the Universe, one six scale, Disco Skeletor. You know, burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. I'll see you guys on the next one. Follow me on Instagram, Eamon O'Donoghue. Follow me on Twitter, Eamon underscore. And again, look at the other previous videos on this, on this YouTube channel. And listen to the Hot Toy cast as well. Myself, Michael Crawford. <laughs> And Jeff Parker, we do a lovely podcast called The Hot Toy Cast. And uh, on our next one as well, we're going to hopefully have a Bob from Mondo itself over to discuss all about these. And there's thinking behind these where he can actually, Bob Fulkerson himself, can explain all actually this to me in the whole and correct me on any of my silly ignorance when it comes to the, what this kind of format of painting style is. But there you go, kids. Disco Skeletor. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello there. Right, we're back now. And I decided to film my Mondo collection. I went and I got, I managed to find a dude on Facebook who was selling two of the glass details with lights installed. And as you can see, this is, this is it where it's now. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, it's the good stuff. If you get a little messy, just rub it on the bottom there. Look at that. I've got my new Mitubi down the bottom. Let's start at the bottom, actually. So I've got my variant Skeletor in here. Got my Hot Topic Glow in the Dark Skeletor. That was one of the first figures I ever got. It was great, actually. I remember when Brock used to work at Mont Mondo to send me out this one. It was a very, very nice surprise. Got the amazing um, Revelation Skeletor. That is actually there, that Revelation Skeletor. It's one of my favorite figures of all time. I love it, and I cannot wait for them to release the He-Man version. There's the Mutubi Skeletor, which is looking lovely in there. And I said I put the claws on him just to make him stand out a little bit more different. Here we have kind of got the... The two original in the back there, I still get a bit of love. And uh, Thunder Punch He-Man, of course, for those of us who had a, a questionable He-Man back in the day, we managed to use the extra body to make a Thunder Punch He-Man. So that was always great, wasn't it? Here we have a kind of a bad guy Hordak situation with the two variants of the Hordak and Keldor out back, like a Keldor. Oh yes. We got um, Scareglow version two and Faker. Now I have Scareglow version one, but given the space situation, I figured I'll just leave, put a half Scareglow version version two up because he is just a little bit better, isn't he? He is a proper scary glow, but it appears to be the third version coming. So let's stand for that. But there, look at Faker. Yeah, love that Faker. I just love Faker. Just the face sculpt just really worked on Faker for me on that original head sculpt. But there you go. Up here now we got the bad guys. Finally, with Beast Men in there. The whole the whole the holy trinity there. We got Beast Man, Chop Jaw, Merman. Look how good Merman looks. Yeah, I could have gone for that head too. But I really, really, really like this head. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Beast Man's looking great there. This is one of my favorite cubicles. I just love Prince Adam here. Look at that. It keeps going out of focus for some reason. Look at that. Great stuff. You got Cringer, Cowl, Orca in a Jar, the heads out. I love having these details because you got to understand, I've had most of these figures since day one. And this is my first time ever being able to display them because I got my new office. See, my new office. Wee. I'll uh, do a video of that later on because it's going to be quite cool. The amazing Battle Cat and He-Man up top. Skeletor up top. Oh, and that got the heads down the bottom. It's like this, this, this display here is my pride and joy. Got my classics Castle Grace on top and my classics Grand Amir. I'm going to put my Battle Ram over there too when I get a chance because I've just moved into this place. But the first thing I got to display when I came in here was getting these Mondos sorted. So there you go. Look at that. I am so very, very, very happy with my Mondo collection now. We got Tila. They've just announced Tila this weekend now, so I can't wait to get Tila. We'll let her in as well, but look at that. I am so proud of this. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Because you gotta understand, they don't make these details anymore. And I scored this of a guy off eBay for 200 quid with lights installed. And look, the, the lights are covered up and there was front-facing lights too. I'm just, I'm just made up with this. 
This is how Mondo figures should be displayed. Absolutely lit up and for all the glory to see. So there you go. Okay, guys. There you go. Well, maybe I'll come back to you in a little while afterwards. This is just a post for that little last review I did. Okay. Have a good one, guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Oh, 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 drool, 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 drool. Just, just drool. Drool the big droolerson. Sweet. All right, bye.